This is on my iPhone. You download the USDF Test Pro app, which you get in the App Store. Tap it, and it takes you to what you were looking at last. I was just looking at the home screen here. So at the beginning, it lists the different levels and different tests that are available. So for example, if I want to look at second level, if I tap this arrow, it's gonna show me the different tests. Or for intro and training, see how it has short arena, standard arena. So depending on if you're showing in a short arena or standard arena, it's gonna be a little different. I'll tap that to go back. See it goes, uh, it has several different tests from not just the regular levels, but also developing horse tests, the young horse four-year-old test, some musical freestyle tests and guidelines, sport horse, pot de doux, quadrille, these other resources, which are handy dandy. Oops, there we go. Our glossary of judging terms and pyramid of training, which I always suggest you review. Go back. All right, so we're going to look at a test. Let's do, um, let's do first level test three. Why not? See how it pops up? Now you can see all the movements from the test. So you could read it straight like this. You can look at the official PDF by clicking here or tapping there, which you can zoom in and out. You can see the entire test as it would be printed out, including all the uh, directives, the coefficients, everything. Okay, to get out of that, I push done. Okay, now you can either look at the test right here or what I like to do, I'm gonna tap over here, tap again. Now you can look at the test this way. So I push this little arrow here and now it says A, enter working trot. That is the first movement. And as I tap, it takes you through all the movements in the test and it shows you a diagram so you can see where it's supposed to happen and what it's supposed to look like. So you have your 10 meter circle left, straight ahead at I, C track left. So it kind of has the previous movement into the next one. And I really like this because I'm a, I'm a visual test memorizer learner. So I have to see it in the ring and this really helps me and it helps my students too. So I will bring this up when we're uh, learning the tests and going through them so I can show them what's expected and what the sizes look like. Okay, so say you want to, all right, we'll go through the whole thing to the end and then see it, oops, not now. And now it doesn't go anywhere. So you can either, oops, there we go, don't mind me. Okay, we're at the X halt salute. So now it's not going anywhere. So I can either go backwards or start over. Okay, so here's another really cool thing it does. If you push this right here, this play button, as long as the sound is on, because see you can turn sound on and off, listen. A, enter working trot. So it reads the test to you. X, halt, salute, proceed working trot. So what I've noticed is that there's a little bit of a delay when it reads, so I'm assuming they've set this up so that you can actually hear the test as you're riding it. So I don't know if that's the case, but if you wear headphones while you ride, maybe you can have this actually read the test for you and you can practice. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not quite sure. Here's another cool thing that it does is that you can actually draw on it. So say I wanted to, you know, draw a circle or, you know, something here for somebody to see or for yourself, like, oh, I'm gonna enter halted X, you know. Some people like being able to draw on this thing, which is kind of cool. Okay, there's also a bunch of settings if you go to this little settings button here. You can change the scheme, you can do the playback speed, slow, normal, fast, um, a whole bunch of different settings to your liking. Here we go. So that's basically the app. Now to go back to the main screen, you need to push this down here and that'll pop that up. Now see how it's the test I was looking at. So to get back to all the other ones, I go back up here and then it pops that thing up. And if I want this to go away, you know, oops, Let's see. Okay, so this moving, moving on to one of the annoyances of it 
it's kind of touchy. So if you touch the wrong thing, then it kind of moves on to a different window. And that's one thing I kind of don't like about it. Um, another thing is, there we go. Yeah, that's the, my main grievance about it. Another thing, a lot of people think it's too expensive. Okay, yeah, it's about, I think $18 or so. But for me, you're using this over about four years and I will use it often. So to me, it's worth it. Uh, you can also just print out tests for free, that's fine. But for me, I teach and I use this often on my phone, so it's really helpful for me. Um, let's see, some other stuff I might have missed. Down here is the rule book, so you can actually tap on that. It'll take you to the website where you can find the USEF rule book. If you're looking for dressage, you know, you'd go down and find dressage division right there. Now I'm gonna go back to the app. Coming soon, on the levels it says, I don't know what that means, but I'm really hoping that it's going to hook everything up together because they're planning on doing a new on the levels for the 2019 tests, which is super exciting. Um, USDF store, self-explanatory takes you to the USDF store. Okay, so when you're in the app store, at least for iPhones, um, you look for Test Pro US Dressage Federation. It looks like this. It's going to tell you how much it is here. I don't remember, 18 or so. Uh, because I own the app, it's going to say open and then um, you just download it from here. So generally people are liking it. Um, some people have complained about it mostly because it's not maybe as user friendly as the last one, but it takes a little bit of a learning curve. I admit that, but it's, it's not too difficult to figure out. I like it, I'm gonna use it, I'm glad I got it. So that's it for my video feature on the new USDF Test Pro app. Like this video, comment, ask me questions about the app or ask me questions about anything else. Also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can find it by searching Grace Owsley Dressage.